believers. For those who are believers, this video is not going to be addressed to you. It's addressed to those creeps sent by the shadow government to gang stalk me and to haunt me down. Because they sent creeps my way to do that. Okay? They assign men to come after me to haunt me down. Now, it doesn't work because anointing keeps them at a distance, but they still come. So, believers, the following video is addressed to those creeps. Okay? So, if you want, you can stop watching this video right now because the rest is addressed to those creeps that keep lurking on this channel. Okay? So, yes. You. Creep. Yes, that's what I'm going to call you, a creep. You spent hours of your day hating on a fellow human being who's only interested in enforcing righteousness on the earth so that all humans benefit from the glory of our Heavenly Father. You spent hours of your day, over and over again, day after day, to hate on such an individual and hoping to see me crack down and break down. Some of you have done voodoo rituals on me. Some of you enforce hexes on me. Dead spells. Spells of sickness. You expect me to have accidents. You expect me to um, just faint. You expect me to develop cancer or brain tumor or whatever. Some of you have, de have decreed paranormally the worst scenarios on me. Some of you became so desperate that you, were, that you wanted to come and look for a fight. And I could feel the homicidal rage coming towards me. Some even want to come to my address to look me up. I mean, wow. For real? So let me get this straight. There are pedophiles out there who insist on raping and harming children just because they want to feel like God. Okay? In, in that country that I, that I moved out of, the Netherlands, there's even this political party for the pedophiles. They're not recognize that much thank god but the fact that there even is such a thing as a political party for pedophiles is alarming there was one in britain in the 1970s but the british population shut it down praise the lord but you have such creeps going around all right and in the netherlands you have young people who are upset about it and they are tricking such creeps online to expose themselves and then they hand them over to the police there was one incident when a guy died that's, I, I don't support that, but hey, at least they did a better job than the whole Dutch government and the whole Dutch police force. You have such creeps going around, insisting on harming children. But they, them you don't go after. You don't go and hate on them. You don't go, don't go look for a fight with them. You don't make death spells on them. You don't wish and decree accidents, sickness and tragedies on them. No, you want to come to Ari Dasset. Because who does Ari Dasset think he is? Who's this nigger thinking he is that he is worth something without our permission? That's how you think. Okay, and apart from those creeps I just spoken about, you have politicians there who are training you, lying to you, hoaxing you. Why don't you go after them? Oh, some of you came from abusive households where parents neglected you or your the, the environment including your own relatives enabled harm on you why don't you go after those people i could i could understand that but no you come after me you don't want to face yourself no you want someone to dump upon to feel good on the inside well are you happy dumping Seeing that nothing bad happens to me, but you keep on dumping? Doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results? That's called insanity. But I get it already. Some of you, well, a lot of you, but I'm going to say some, some of you took the ball from it out. So you hate females. You hate sexual health. You hate healthy males. Especially Healthy males 
that serve the Heavenly Father. Yes, you took the oath. You went into darkroom rituals. Yet your ass, your ass was busted by the gang. And you busted other asses also. Some of you signed your name in blood. Some of you have hundreds of demons living in your body. So that's so why I understand why some of you keep persisting. You have something to prove. You feel superior because you took that oath. Now, let me get this straight. That entity you bent it over to, the Baphomet, also known as Ganymedes, a fallen angel. Okay? Who is he? I told you, a fallen angel. He was a former heavenly prince whom the Most High banned from the heavens because he went after Satan's behind. Oh, and those gods that you worship, gods which are not really gods at all, who are they? Those are those are banned heavenly princes also. They vampirized hundreds of thousands of young men, drank their blood, they faked being human males, and they raped millions of women before the flood of Noah. Yes, they raped millions of the women of our species. And even began to rape animals. That's how pathetic and narcissistic they were. And after the flood of Noah, when their offspring was wiped from the earth, they even played the victim in the heavens, wanted to, to dethrone the Most High, something that they should have known couldn't happen. The Most High banned them from the heavens. And what happened to them? Now, them and the Kunish population that followed them are now roaming the earth, homeless, haunted by thousands of diseases including mental disorders. And those are the entities you side with. So instead of siding with the Heavenly Father, in whom you exist, instead of siding with the Heavenly Father, who forgives freely, instead of siding with the Heavenly Father, in whom there's no darkness, you side with oh, entities that rape millions of, of women from our species, you side with entities that vampirize our life source. You side with entities. Oh my God, this goes way too deep. You side with entities that sponsor and enable child abusers. That uh, that sponsor genocide, all of that. Oh, so you hate that Ari Dossett who serves the most high, but you side with those creeps. That the Most High doesn't want anything to deal with. And you're smart. What do you want? You want to have a cookie? You want to have a medal? You want to get a standing ovation? What do you want? You want recognition? You want respect? Respect for kissing Satan's behind? Respect for, a, for making a vow against your own species? For selling out uh, your own race? With race, I mean the human race. I, I don't believe those constructs of... Uh, Races, there's one human race with multiple ethnicities. You sell out the well being and sanity of your own species or race, whatever you want, whatever you term you prefer, so that you can have temporary benefits at our expense. And that is what you want to be recognized for. Well, congratulations. You are a promoted spiritual whore. You are a spiritual hoe, that's what you are. And spiritual hoes will not inherit the kingdom of the Heavenly Father. You'll be banned to the lake of fire. And there you will see how much those demonic entities love you. They don't. They just pretend they do. Because they know you are so, so desperate to feel like you're something. Instead of facing your lack of self-worth, submit to the Heavenly Father and receive healing and be free and the glorified Heavenly Father to benefit us all, you chose the other side. You took that powerful man out. You took the bait of Satan. How low can you go? I'm inviting you to self-reflect. I know many of you won't do it because you're reprobate, but I invite you 
to reflect on yourself and to realize that you can do far better than this. Okay? If you are so tough, you're so gangster, you're the man, why not be a man really and submit to the man, God himself? No, he don't want to submit to the man himself. But you'll rather have other men busting your behind in dark rituals so that you can validate your quote-unquote independence from the Most High, which doesn't exist. And now that you're frustrated and you feel low, now you want to dump it on everyone else. And you can't stand that there are men out there, like me, who choose to serve the Heavenly Father, despite the rage of the heathen that comes against us. I don't hate you. I'm not going to curse you. Or any of that, I don't. You have to curse yourself. And now you want all of the human species in your misery so that you are at ease. You're off your father, the devil. You have the same mentality as Satan, unfortunately. Hey, but I still invite you, because an offer of the Most High, join the side of Christ. It will be far better for all of us. Well, that's all I'm about to, about to say to you now. For the rest, I'll keep making videos to edify the body of Christ. If you keep on coming and hating, that's on you. Don't blame me when things backfire. I'm not harming you, you're harming yourself. But for, for the rest that watch this, hey, I only address those creeps that keep on home, keep coming after me. I invited them to glory. If they persist to perish, hey, that's not on us. And for all the rest that still decide to watch this, keep on creeping with Christ. He is coming back very soon. And his reward is to bid him. Pay days coming for us, brothers and sisters. Pay days coming. Be at peace.